It is a beautiful mid-November day, 57 degrees outside, but I'll tell you what, I can't wait for snow so I can use one of these guys right here. We've got an ultimate work UTV here that is not made of plastic, believe it or not. So we're gonna tell you more about these and we actually have them set up for winter time because while these can be used in all four seasons, they have a, an HVAC cab on there. So they have heat, they have air conditioning. So if it's sunny, if it's rainy, if it's windy, if it's snowy, you're still comfortable inside and can get the job done. But fun fact for you, these are actually made by a division of Toyota. All right, so these are the real deal. And now they're set up for winter time too. All right, so let's start at this one here. Now this is a manual setup. In case you didn't know, these are four by four, four wheel drive, all right? And these are dump beds that we have on here as well. But on the front end, we've got a Fisher snow plow, all right? So this is a straight blade plow that we have on here. Over there, we've got the, the six way, the fancier one. Very nice plow blade here. These are sold under uh, or two various ATV, UTV manufacturers, but uh, electric over hydraulic setup, has the, the controls with a, um, a controller right inside the cab for you. Easy on, easy off. And with these cab overs here, you have really good visibility. You can see everything going out right in front of, right in front of you. Now I am popped inside, of course, but I'm six foot three, all right? About 200 pounds, give or take, and you can see how I fit. I'll close this door as well. Fit right in here. But this is like a, a mini vehicle, it really is. These are, these are made to different standards than like a, a Polaris or a, a Can-Am. It's, you know, you got steel all around. Comfortable. Now this is a, a, a manual, all right? So the cool thing about the manual, they have them in automatic as well. We can, we can show you the inside of the automatic I have over there, but uh, the manual actually has a high and a low range. All right, the automatic doesn't, so you gain that, which is pretty cool. If you're gonna be using it for plowing, or if you're gonna be towing a lot, or maybe putting a lot of weight in the truck bed, in the dump bed back there, then having the high-low range, I think, is beneficial. Um, and it's, it's set up the same way. Sure, you're on the right-hand side. That's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> I was telling somebody the other day, the biggest deal about having it set up on the right-hand side with the steering wheel is I always walk over to, to the left side to get in but using it functionality wise, it's no big deal at all. So uh, the, the layout's the same. You're using your left hand to change gears, but it's still the pattern is the same. First gear is in the top left and reverse is in the bottom right. Uh, the foot pedals are all laid out the same as well. Light controls, everything else. You have a nice dash there with the, uh, the, the speedometer on there. Radio, heat controls. They are, again, selectable two and four wheel drive. Uh, locking rear differential is selectable too. Let me fire this bad boy up though. You can hear it run. That's a nice thing as well. They're, they're quiet. You know, they're not going to be a loud machine. They say you get about 40 MPG in one of these as well. Gasoline. Okay. Rear view mirror. Dump controls. Dump controls? I mean, not the dump. Uh, the, the plow controls. Yeah, the plow controls. Where am I at? Oh, here they are. Right here. Yeah, it is. Little bracket that's mounted right there. Just screwed right into the dash. Just like that. Pop it. You could leave it there if you wanted to. But uh, let's see. What do we do here? We, we oh, got to turn it on. There we go. Now it's on. It's already raised up. Angle it left, right, whatever direction you want. Lower it down. When you lower it, it goes right into float mode, too. Just like that. Very responsive, crazy responsive. I mean, it's like, it just feels strong. Really, it's as easy as that. I'll drive it around here just a second and show you guys this. Got that plow raised up. Oop, get the parking brake off. Now they do add on uh, these off-road tires on here and wheels, dress them up a bit, put the decal packages on. You can get them customized however you want though. Totally up to you. That's just the, the beep for the seat belt there. Probably should have put that on. But yeah, let's take a look at that six way now too. Show you what that's about. 
Want to see the dump bed? All right. Let's show them the dump bed. So these rear tailgates can be set up a couple of ways. You'll see it right now how it's set up to swing. You can completely remove the tailgate. You can remove the sides too if you want a flat bed on the back. They say 1,500 pounds, but honestly, I think it's more than that. We've loaded this thing up with dirt. It had no problem dumping it. Handles the load really well too. You show them underneath. Nice big cylinder in the center there. It has no hesitation. I, I've had some dump trailers as, uh, as we've shown on the channel and they, they struggle to raise heavier loads. Not this guy. Now these folks, well it's available at minidumps.com, all right? But these folks have parts available. That's one of the big questions. Where can I get parts if I need them? Parts available here in the States. Worst case scenario, parts can be expedited uh, from Japan. So these are, these are built in Japan, all right? Again, by a division of Toyota. But you'll see, I think you gotta remove, do you have to remove the rear panel first? Yeah, you gotta remove the, the tailgate first and then you can take the side panels. You can fold them down, we've shown you that before. You can completely remove them if you want to. I actually have been running around, here's my, my automatic that I've been using right now. And I don't even put the tailgate on there. This is because I'm constantly dumping stuff, you know, whether it's dirt, whether it's uh, firewood, whether it's been uh, just hauling even just cardboard or junk out to the burn pit, nothing, you're, you're going, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour around here at, at most. I mean, less than that most of the time too. And so I don't leave that in there that way. There's no restriction, you know, on, on the swinging tailgate. Just raise the bed, dump it out when I get to point B. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the automatic setup. It's essentially the same thing. Only real difference is there's not gonna be that high and low, all right? You still have your parking brake, but there's just no high-low. You're just adjusting just like a car, right? And you have reverse, neutral, and drive, and all that, but all the controls here are still the same. You still have the, uh, the, the two-wheel and four-wheel drive select, locking rear differential, cup holders, plenty of storage, really. You have a, a storage down here, too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be really nice this winter, I'll tell you that. Take a look at this six-way plow. I'm gonna fire this thing right up and show you. This is a fancy guy. Well, I guess I'll give you a few details on it first. This thing's decked out though. You have the wing extensions on the ends, all right? You've got the, the heavy-duty rubber. That's, what is that, about an inch thick? I'd say about an inch thick or so, all the way across. Very thick and durable. You have these spillover flaps on top to prevent everything from coming over in the backside. It's gonna help kind of keep it trapped in there and and uh, rolling down and even right here. So we had a, uh, a, a gator with a similar V plow for a while. And I like this setup here on the, on this rubber blade in the middle. It's tough because it's, you gotta have the flexibility to, you know, to do a closed V or an open V, make all the different adjustments on there. Big old beefy springs on the backside too, Chris, show them that. But yeah, yeah, it's set up nice. Now this one we have the uh, the skid runners or the skid shoes off of it. This is what those skid shoes look like over here on the straight plow. Okay. What ring would you want those? Well, if you're going to be on gravel, you know, if you want to get your your blade above the gravel so it's not scraping all the stone off of your drive, you know, you can adjust those skid shoes so it's not digging down in and keep it above there a bit. But with this one being set up. With this rubber blade on here, the intent is to be on a concrete or an asphalt surface and clearing that so you're gonna be making contact and sliding along on there and you wanna have a good uh, amount of contact to, do, to scrape along and clear that off. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna show you how to use this uh, plow blade. Got a lot of adjustment to it. 
Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. We'll straighten it out here to begin with, okay? so. You can do a straight blade if you want to, and you can angle that left to right like normal, okay? Or if you want to uh, completely close it, you can do that, okay? Or if you want to make it like a wedge, do a wedge just like that. Let's go back straight, and then you can close one side if you want, okay? You can close just one side, open it back up, or you can do the same thing with the other side. All right, close that side, open it back up. It just has all sorts of flexibility. I mean, it's like, it seems like it's almost infinite adjustability on there. Of course, lower it back down, it goes right into float too. It's just super responsive. So, what's that? Close it up. More? The whole way? Oh, oh, yeah. We gotta show that salter now too. I might as well leave this on. Uh, let me fire this back up because this bad boy's got the salter on it. Let's see, so let's turn this on. We have a whole, whole control in here that we can show you too, but we've got that fired up now. So it has a speed control. All right, so you can adjust the uh, the gates or the, uh, the 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 spin speed on there, and what that will do is determine how far you're throwing your material. All right, and so then you can also adjust the gate control, and that is essentially is going to determine how fast the material is flowing out. See how that. Uh, how that conveyor there, how that belt slows down, or we can speed it up to drive more material through there. Or if you want to slow it back down, you can see how it slows down just like that. And then we've got the lights. Those lights and strobes on there, Luke, or Chris. And then you can, there's a blast mode if you got to throw down a bunch of extra stuff really quick, you can just hit that blast button and it takes care of that. So again, here's the control that shows you everything that's going on. All right, so this again controls the spin speed of your, of your tray there that's shooting the actual salt out. This one handles that conveyor or that belt speed, all right, more or less material that's flowing down on there. We've got the blast. Okay, that gives you kind of a, a quick extra shot or quick extra burst. And then we have our lights and our strobe, all right, for safety stuff and visibility to see what's going on. Really, really, I mean, it doesn't get much nicer than this. I can't wait to use it. I, I need some snow to come. I'll tell you what, though, I've been trying to determine, I'm having a tough time, right? I want the best salt or ice melt pellet that I can get. And so I could use some, you know, I buy the stuff that you get at Lowe's, right? And just throw it out and blah, 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 blah. But I want to buy volume because we're going to be clearing, uh, we're using it here and at my shop as well. And so I want to have something that's not going to, well, it's going to be safe on the concrete, safe on the asphalt, not going to corrode anything. I want to avoid that. That's, that's a, the tough one, right? Is it seems like Salt and some of these um, better ice melt pellets are all going to be more prone to corrosion. But is there something that does really good at melting ice at lower temperatures after there's already ice, not a prevent, but after there's already ice down there at melting it, that's not going to corrode? Is there? Can I can I get everything I want in a product? So it'd be great 
If you could help me out, let me know what it is and where I can buy it in bulk. I want to buy it in bulk. So I'm excited. You can get these with or without the plows. If you want to get just a plow, add it to your UTV. They can help you out with that too. But if you want to get a mini dump, all right, these are limited availability, all right? So, I mean, if you want one, get one because they're, they're small batches that come in. So get your name on one, minidumps.com. Ship them nationwide, all right? Available nationwide for you, but minidumps.com with or without the plow. Add a plow later on if you're not sure if you want to get that now. Automatic, manual. Get just the plow if you need to. Get that set up for your own UTV. These are imported into the States, again, from a division of Toyota. Sold with an off-road use title like a UTV would have on it as well, all right? So just the, the great for homesteads, farms, ranches, oil fields. Uh, cemeteries use these, municipalities, uh, universities, colleges. If you need a support vehicle, it's hard to beat this. This is the real deal. And you know you have the reliability coming from Toyota. So anyway, minidumps.com, that's where you can get more information, get pricing on their website. Just go to the right tab to get the pricing on there. Contact them if you want to place an order for one of these or if you have any other questions. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.